Thanks for tuning in. This is Oink Cluck Moo All Things Barbecue. I hope you're excited about this video. We are doing the first comparison that I know of. Lava Lock Door versus the Cajun Bandit Door. Let's see how it goes. Finished my fifth pot of coffee. I'm ready to do this test. I've been looking forward to this test for a good year now. I bought the Cajun Bandit door, just installed it right there, and here we go. Two 20-pound bags of charcoal in each smoker. We divvy up the coals, and we are off and running, doing it with a water pan. Let's let these suckers cook and get to those results. Let's look at the first take. So on my first run of this, the probe actually burned out when it hit 560 degrees on the Cajun Bandit door. So I ran two tests, but let's take a look at the results of the first test anyway. So it reaches a peak temperature when the probe burns out at 560 degrees. We could also say it reaches 490 degrees as the peak temperature. I wanna kinda of give you two here. The decline occurs three and a half hours in and it continues to go and I usually stop the test at 200 degrees because at that point your charcoal is kind of done. And that occurs 10 hours in. Um, now for your lava lock door, the peak happens to be at 445 degrees, which is five hours, almost four and a half hours in. Here's the peak right here. And then the decline begins again after the five hour mark. And it continues all the way down until it hits about 200 degrees, which is 12 and a half hours later. Remember, these tests are run with the vents open. And now take two. The next test is started at 3.30 in the afternoon. The peak is hit two hours in at 361 degrees, which it starts to decline and it hits 200 degrees around midnight, which is an eight and a half hour burn. The lava lock door hits a peak temperature of 321 degrees, which it sustains for four hours. It then hits 200 degrees 11 hours later. Here you'll see there's air leakage at the top of the Cajun Bandit door. Now remember, this is the first burn for the door. It should seal over time, but just be aware. Um, let's take a look at the, the Cajun Bandit door real quick, just to show you the seal. So there is gaps, I see gaps there. I tried to bend it in shape as much as possible. I even tightened the bolt as much as possible. But, so you'll see, this is after one use. So you can see, Pretty darn good seal for the majority of it, but look right there. Look at all that smoke leakage right there. Now it's building up, so I'd imagine it might just naturally seal a little bit, but it's not going to offer you the seal the lava lock door does. Um, there's other benefits too. I mean, you're going to be holding this major hot piece of steel where the lava lock door just swings open and it's out of your way. So both of these cookers, their dome co or their arch cookers, they have the arch cut. Some of the other models actually have a square opening, which is great because you can really access the lower door or the, uh, the lower grate, excuse me. Um, this one that I'm actually working on with the lava lock door, it actually has an arch as well. I will grind that out and open it up so I have more access to my lower crate. But I mean, you're not getting a better seal than that door, I'm telling you. And the, date, the, the proof is in the data here. Let's look at the report card. Uh, your lava lock door, that's gonna win the efficiency battle, I think we just showed you that. Easy to install. Cajun Bandit door and factory door are gonna win this one only because lava lock does require a little bit of skill to put on your smoker. Convenient chamber access. Lava lock door is going to win this one only because you don't have to worry about placing this hot piece of steel somewhere as you open your chamber. Customizable. Lava lock is going to win this one because it's a raw piece of steel. It's not stainless or anything like that where you're going to have to sand it first. Gauge your thickness of the steel. Factory door. Hey man, this is like three sheets of tin foil put together. That thing's horrible. Cajun Bandit, Lava Lock are going to win this one at five. So overall score. Factory door is 14. You multiply that by 4 because of possible uh, 25 points in each category. You get 56%. Cajun Bandit passes at 72%. Lava Lock aces this one at 92%. Burn time over 10 bags of charcoal. This goes back to your efficiency. 
100 hours for Cajun Bandit and Factory Door. Lava Lock's going to come in at 125. A couple more points I want to share with you. Your break-even costs will occur after you burn through about 9 bags of charcoal with the Lava Lock door. You don't have a break-even cost with the Cajun Bandit door because it really doesn't give you any efficiency gains. Next, for 200 hours of burn time, it will cost you $47.72 more if you are not using the Lava Lock door. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. I really hope you liked it. If you liked it, hit subscribe. I'll continue bringing these videos to you. I try to get a video out to you at least once a month. If you want your own Lava Lock door, go to barbecuesmokermods.com and grab your own.